I'm quite patient, but you're not that patient. I'm in general. <laughs> so, I think. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Danny. I'm a wildlife photographer and I travel around photographing wildlife and there's always someone else filming me and that is my boyfriend, Juan. Hello. Hello. Today we're going to have a chat about our favourite wildlife experiences, how it is working together. I've got a few questions for you. Can I have you... a question for you. Okay, <laughs> good. And we've got mulled wine. We have a dog, so if you hear dog noises, that will be Jensen. Um, but I, I think my first question is, what is your favourite animal? Otters and, and squirrels. Yeah, I think, both. I think both. But you always liked otters, otters. Um, which is quite good because the last video was about otters. Okay, so one of the popular questions is, where are you from? Mm -hmm. Where are you from? I'm from Mexico then. <laughs> um, we've travelled a lot in Mexico over the past two years and made quite a few videos, good videos, I think. I'm going to have more, I think. Have to go to the desert. True. Well, we've done a bit of desert. Yeah. We found the owls. What's been the favourite wildlife encounter in Mexico? I think the monkeys. Oh, really? Yeah. The spider, spider monkeys. monkeys. I always mention those. Yeah. yeah. That um, one was good. That day was really hot. Yeah. And I was struggling. It was like 32 degrees. So we went to this place called Punta Laguna. And it's quite known for spider monkeys. And... We couldn't find any. We talked to this kid. Mm -hmm. He was going to take us. Yeah. But he wanted money. And in the end, we found them. Mm -hmm. But why was it your favorite experience? I never seen them that close or yeah. a wild animal that close and just doing their own thing. So they were just feeding in front of us. Yeah. And they were, they were fine with us. And I was a bit afraid as well. Really? Why? A little bit. Because they were oh, in yeah, front of you. Yeah, you were saying, like, be careful, move slowly. Yeah, I didn't want them to be annoyed and do something or throw something at you. My only experience with angry monkeys is with capuchins. Mm -hmm. And they're a bit smaller. Yeah. And uh, actually, no, that's a lie. When I was in Costa Rica, a baby spider monkey did throw poo at me. But it so. missed. So. Okay. Um, so that's good. So, that was right to be afraid. Yeah, but oh. th it was two young males and they were pretty relaxed. And what is your favourite experience with wildlife that's not in Mexico? Otters. Definitely. Yeah. Otters. Which Bryden. Yeah. It was cool because it was extreme. Because the environment. Mm. Climate. Too, it was raining. It was very windy. It was wet. With the Shetland video, I think that was the first video where almost exactly half of the footage was yours. Mm. Because <gasps> it's snowing! It happened. It's snowing! Okay, tomorrow it might be a snow day, and if it is, I want to go to Richmond Park to yeah. photograph oh. the deer. Mm -hmm. But we have to wake up early. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to what we were chatting about. So, okay. the otter video yeah. was not only half of your footage, mm. but it was also half of your edit right. we pretty much worked on the whole video together and that's quite cool and that's sort of one thing i want to talk about which is how we work together because um i would say it's a good experience working together you get frustrated i think i do yeah yeah do you yeah because you have an idea and maybe if you don't tell me this whole concept but probably you don't have it already yeah. Uh, develop like the whole story, how you want to yeah. tell it. Then if you don't tell me, it's a bit frustrating because I don't, I don't know what your yeah. intentions are or how, how you're seeing the whole yeah. film. Particularly with the otter video, I needed to spend a few days reviewing the footage, putting it together in some sort of shape or story. Yeah. Line or... And then you could edit it, but yeah. before, I was just like, here's all the footage. Yeah. A terabyte of auto footage and it's just like, what is the story here? So I think for me, I, I film the wildlife, I think that's a given. I do the story and the narration, but then a lot of the f 
footage of me is entirely you. Like sometimes I set up a tripod yeah. and do it myself, but usually it's it's you. <laughs> Let's go for another question. How has it been learning how to use a camera and filming wildlife or me? I think focusing on wildlife is just way different. Is definitely need to learn about it. In terms of you need to have patience. Yeah. With wildlife. With wildlife they're not in um, easy environments yeah. we've photographed them in wind rain snow heat has there ever been a time where you've just felt really uncomfortable and you're like nope I don't want to do this like I want to be at home I want to yeah. be clean definitely in Mexico in the boat La Paz oh yeah that was really tough because you were seasick. Because um, seasick, so yeah. vomiting. You were, <laughs> it was quite lucky yes. and good that when I went to do the Shark. sharks, you weren't there because I was so seasick and I got into the sea and there were sharks around me and I was literally so seasick. I was just vomiting into the sea with sharks around me, into my snorkel. I had to empty it out and I don't usually get seasick, so if you were there, I think you would have been... I don't know how. I don't. <laughs> no. You wouldn't have survived. No, no, no. Thank you, Anchor, for supporting my channel and sponsoring this video. Anchor have sent me the Anchor 767 powerhouse. I really see these powerhouses as an extension to my day-to-day -day photography gear. I love to share wildlife to people, but wildlife is often quite remote and having Anchor portable power stations allows me to share wildlife in remote locations. Recently, I have been using the Anchor 767 to charge my camera and drone batteries whilst on the go. They are perfect for road trips or if you're spending the weekend off grid. This is Anchor's long longest lasting power station that offers six times a longer lifespan and has 3000 charge cycles. You can use it in the cold or in the heat as it has a smart temperature control. Anchor provide a five year warranty but it has a 10 year lifespan. I really like the design. Having the handle and the strong wheels means you can pull it easily. You can charge to 100% in 1.4 hours and the capacity is 2000 and 48 watts so you can charge home appliances from camera batteries to a fridge. I also use the Anker 757 powerhouse which has the same long lasting batteries but different capacity and I'm excited to do a winter live stream with the red squirrels soon. The Anker powerhouse is linked in the description. Okay I have a question for you. Okay. What's next? What's our next trip? Where are we Ooh, going? Good question. Um, so I think after Sweden we will go back to Latin America and probably go back to Mexico but I don't know whether we will do anything, any content in Mexico. Maybe we'll just go to South America? Yeah so I want to go to Peru, maybe Ecuador, maybe Costa Rica and do more like Central America and a bit of South America. Mm -hmm. um, do you both have the same patience when photographing wildlife? I don't know. I think we have the same level of patience. I'm quite patient, but you're not that patient. I'm in general. <laughs> so I think <laughs> who's more patient between between both of us? When what well, as just as just in general? Okay. Um... I think you're more patient. Yeah? That's what you want me to say. No, 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 it's not what I want you to say, but... Yeah, I think you're more patient. I think... I'm, then I'm definitely impatient when it comes to equipment and learning new things and software. I just... I want to get... I want it to work and I want it to do what it's supposed to do mm -hmm. and I want to do it quickly and end it quickly so I can do the next thing. I'm more patient at that than you. Yeah, you spend time working it out, working out issues or errors. And you're more patient with wildlife than me. Probably. Yeah, 
I think I'm also more patient with withstanding conditions. Yeah. And I think you get more uncomfortable quicker. Like if it's really cold or really windy, I think you just so it, break down a little bit. <laughs> so it's a balance. Yeah. How's your Swedish? Um, we've learnt the alphabet a bit, so we can pronounce the names of towns better. Mm-hmm. Um, because before, if you pronounce towns the same as English, people don't know what you're talking about. Do we have? I think this can be the last question. Okay. Do we have any plans for going back to Sweden? Yeah, we're going next week. Yeah, we're going on Wednesday. It's winter. It's gonna be there ten days. But... Uh huh. Um, the squirrels have been very busy apparently, so we're gonna have fun, mm. and there'll be a special guest. Okay, I think that's enough for now. Okay. How was it talking to the camera? Good. <laughs> <laughs> My battery's flashing. So we're going to say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. <laughs> and um, if you want to order a calendar, I've still got a few available and pins. Christmas cards have sold out, but um, I'm going to close my shop in a few days. So if you can order soon, that would be great. So we can ship them before we go to Sweden. Mm-hmm. And. Thank you for watching and see you later. Bye. (laughs) Bye.